moment that kind of uh, changed everything was the first time I ever got shot at. We got ambushed, and uh, you know, the first time I heard a, a crack of a bullet go by me, and uh, you know, first time I ever saw somebody get shot, uh, somebody that I, that I knew well. There was a moment of there was a moment of hesitation, but then I realized that you know, immediately my training took over, and you know, I didn't want to let my friends down, I didn't want to let my buddies down to my right and left, and you know, I knew that I had to I had to keep going, so. Uh, you know, I kept going for them. My name is Master Sergeant Bobby Leverett. Been in the United States Marine Corps for 19 years. I got two opportunities to serve in Eastern North Carolina on a aircraft, a HH-46, a search and rescue aircraft, informally known as Pedro. Uh, we'd work and train with the Coast Guard offshore on a constant basis, being able to just do hospital transfers, um, helping fishermen that uh, may be in distress or something or a lost boat or a capsized boat or uh, maybe just a medical emergency that happened that uh, we were going to be able to get there faster than a, than a Coast Guard's boat. Just being in the local area, uh, being able to do something like that was just just amazing and uh, fulfilling to be able to, to, to serve in Eastern North Carolina. Hi, my name's uh... Jason Fleener. I'm a Lieutenant Commander in the United States Navy. I've done 17 years, almost 18 years in the military. So after leaving the Marine Corps, um, I, I had a good Marine friend of mine who ended up passing away from cancer. Um, and that really stimulated my uh, drive to do something in the medical field and go further and, and continue to help my military companions uh, using medicine. My name is Donald Lever Collins, uh, Staff Sergeant in the United States Marine Corps. I've been serving for 11 years. From a small town in Ohio, so not much exposure to the rest of the world, to being able to travel to different countries and uh, different parts of the United States and meet people from all over the world with different values and opinions has really helped me grow as an individual and be more open-minded. My name is Jason Gazillo. I'm a senior chief in the United States Coast Guard. I have 20 years of service. I decided to serve in the United States Coast Guard uh, just shortly after 9-11. I was a junior in high school and um, I wanted to give back to uh, the community. You know, to, the one thing that I learned uh, to pass down to my kids are, you know, to be thankful for what we have, uh, to be, you know, especially being in, you know, the best country in, in the world. Um, you know, it's, it's something that I'll never take for granted. Uh, this is something that uh, I will always cherish to be in this country and the, the freedom that we have here. Uh, my name is First Sergeant James Cross. Uh, I've served in the U.S. Army for 21 years. When you're fishing on the salt water versus you know river or lake fishing, it's it's just a different ball game. Yeah, I'm just excited to get out there. I've never been on on the ocean, you know, fishing, and I think it's going to be a, just a pretty rad experience. Uh, my name is Matthew Bertram. I'm a first sergeant in the United States Army. Heroes aren't looking for fame or glory or or any of that. You know, they're just they're just looking to do their job and get get back home. And that's to me, that's what a hero is. You know, I hope that I can honor their legacy of everyone that came before me and those that, you know, were not able to be here and experience this. Big Rock Big Heroes, giving back to the people that allow us to do these freedoms every day that we take for granted, and if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be able to do that. Nothing would make me happier than for the Marine to get in the chair, and we beat our 914 record. The thing I'm looking forward to the most of this experience is just, you know, connect with nature and just kind of be uh, out in the ocean, and just, you know, and kind of enjoy uh, enjoy the beauty, I guess. Usually I actually get made fun of because I'm a sailor and I get a little bit seasick more than anybody else, but. Uh, I'm super excited to be out on one of these ships and never been in a big tournament such as this. I would love to, to catch a blue marlin and to actually, you know, see it or, or bring it on board uh, or just to experience someone else catching it would be, I'd be a lifelong dream. We got out there about a three hour ride, uh, pretty choppy, sat around for a little while and it went zero to a hundred pretty quick. So uh, definitely the biggest fish I've ever caught. That was, that was wild. How big was it? 900 pounds? They need to be on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> kind of blacked out with the experience of, of just euphoria going through 
um, through my blood. It was wild. I mean, it was by far the biggest fish I've ever caught. No, it's tough. You, you're, you're fishing in a big money tournament. You take a guy with you and you put him in the chair to catch a blue marlin. That speaks uh, an awful lot about you. Backing into the Big Rock Landing was was just amazing to see all the people and all the support there for us. Very humbling, really, kind of to see that support. And then, uh, then backing in the way station, hundreds of people just, I mean, heck, probably even thousands of people lined up all around there. And then to see a 470 pound blue marlin sitting on the, <laughs> Sitting on the the, uh, the way table was just gnarly. Uh, being nominated as Big Rock Hero, it's it's, uh, it's surreal, quite honestly. It's weird to be uh, it's weird, quite honestly, and to be honored and like that, and to be thought of like that. Because in my mind, I'm not a hero. I'm just uh, somebody who does their job. And you know, I, like I said, I, I know plenty of heroes. Uh, who, who never made it home, and you know, I'm just here trying to trying to do do them justice, and uh, I hope that I can. Well, at the end of this, I just want to thank you, Salt Life, and thank you, Big Rock, for uh, allowing me the uh, the opportunity to come out here and participate in this. You guys are rad. All right, the Big Rock Tournament would like to thank Salt Life for their sponsorship of the Big Rock Big Hero Program. Of course, all of our captains and crews who give so graciously of their time, and obviously Tabby who puts it all together. We couldn't do it without you. Thank you, Salt Life. And then uh, everybody at Big Rock, uh, Big Hero and the Big Rock um, Tournament folks, you know, having us or even even considering putting this on is, uh, is, is very, very humbling and super huge. So just huge thanks to everybody involved and thanks for selecting me.